Okay. Uh, third time's a charm. Percentiles. <laughs> Take 27. Okay. Percentiles, you divide the data into 100 equal groups. Uh, percentiles are not the same as percentages. Don't get those confused. A percentage doesn't give us a whole lot of information. I mean, it gives us some information, but a 60 questions correct out of 100 is a 60% on the test. That doesn't tell how we did. I mean, 60% could have been the best score uh, for that particular test, or maybe it was the worst score. Um, if we want to compare within our peers or peer group, we're going to use a percentile rank or percentile. So if we knew that a 60% corresponded to the 80th percentile, we knew we would know we did 80% better than our peers. Okay, and I'm going to take a little brief stroll away from the textbook for this one. And uh, I'll, just to kind of show the site that I'm getting this off of, it's Algebra Lessons page, Percentiles and More Quartiles. And it comes from, if you can catch that, www.regentsprep.org. Uh, so that's the their base or homepage root. I don't, I'm not affiliated with this group at all. I don't know anything about them. But I thought if I'm using their material, I should re at least rep them and tell them what I'm using. So, tell you what I'm using. And you can Google it pretty easy. This one comes up pretty pretty quickly for percentile when you when you Google that. So a percentile, they give two definitions for a percentile. Um, a percentile is a measure that tells us what percent of the total frequency scored at or below the measure. So for definition one here. Um, so this at or below the measure is very important. If you're at or below the measure, you're going to use this um, formula that I'm moving around. This B plus 0.5E divided by N times 100. That gives you your percentile rank. B is the number of scores below the score you want. E is the number of scores that are equal to our score. And N is the total number of scores. Okay, and we'll come back to this definition too in a second. So here we go. So let's say we had this set of data. And uh, what we have is we have 18, 15, 12, 6, 8. We basically took a 20 point test. And these were the scores that the class got. Um, let's say you were one of the lucky ones that got 12 out of 20 correct. So your score is right there. So to find out how you did with respect to the class, you're going to arrange these in order. So let me do that. So 2 is the lowest, then 3, then 5, then 6, then 8, then 10, then 15, then 18, then 20. And let's just make sure I have them all. There should be 10 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, dang. So 2, 3, 5. Oh, Yep. So two, three, five, six, eight, ten. And maybe I better be slashing these off. So two, three, five, six, eight. Oh, I see. The one I circled, I missed. So we'll stick twelve in there. So twelve, fifteen, eighteen. 20. Now we're good to go. So we have them all. And I have my formula already down here on the bottom. Uh, PR for percentile rank is B plus 0.5E over N times 100. And we, if you remember, B is the number of scores below our score. So here's our score when they're listed in order. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of those scores below us. Plus... 0.5 times the number of scores that are the same as ours. Well, there's only one of those divided by the total number of scores, which is 10. So if there had been another 12, you know, if I squeaked in another 12, we'd change this value to 2. Um, so we keep on going, and you got 6.5. Oh, and I forgot the times 100. Getting ahead of myself here. Times 100%. 
And so that would be 6.5 divided by 10 times 100, which would be 65%. So we are in the 65th percentile, which tells me that I have done better than 65% of my peers on this test. You know, if, if there was 100 people taking the test or any number of people. So that's essentially percentile rank and how you calculate it. Now, if you want to go the other direction and you want to say you have your percentile uh, rank of 65% and you want to find out what your score would be. Okay, so we're going to use the second definition. A percentile is a measure that tells us what percent of the total frequency scored below that measure. So not at or below, just below the measure. And here's the formula. And we're going to rearrange that thing just a little bit. We've got percentile rank e you know, equals number of scores below X over 100. And uh, give me one second. Okay, so on the left there, I give you a... Uh, um, on the left there, I give you the formula that you'd need to calculate this. And on the right, I copied and pasted the other formula. So, so let's say you're given your percentile rank. So they give us this value. They give you a say, you, they want to know what the 70th, what the score for the 70th percentile would be. So what you're going to have to do is rearrange this. So if you solved this thing, and uh, we'll, we'll use uh, B for number of scores below over N, basically for your total number, times 100 equals PR. And I'm going to see that this is what the books gives you. I'm, it's the same as this. And I'm just going to change it a little bit just to show you where that value, where that formula comes from. Um, so... If you were going to solve for B in this case, you would divide by 100, first off, both sides of the equation. And so you've got B over N equals PR over 100. And then to eliminate N, you would multiply both sides of the equation by N. And so the N's cross out on this side, and you'd have N times PR on this side. So B is equal to B, which is your scores below R score, um, is equal to PR, percentile rank, times N divided by 100. And so that's kind of, that's very similar. So their P is our PR, so percentile rank. N is the number of scores. 100 is good. B, C is, that's the number of scores below X. So let's say we had, say, let's say we wanted to know the 25th percentile score in that data we had. So to calculate that, again, here's our, we knew we had 10 scores. So 10 times 20, our percentile rank divided by 100 which would be 250 divided by 100, which is 2.5. Okay. And so since we don't have any half, half scores, so it's going to be the third value from the left in our ranked order. So if we go back to our score to get a 25th percentile, here's our ranked order. Um, one, two, three. So that's that 5 corresponds to the 25th percentile. Okay, let's say we wanted to know the 60th percentile. So let's just do another example. 60th. So 60th percentile. So same thing. There's 10 scores in our, our data times 60th for the percentile divided by 100, which would be 600 over 100, which is equal to the sixth value. Okay. So we go back over here to our data, and uh, yeah. 
Now, it came out as a whole number, and that's why I kind of jerked around because I forgot that there is a, a rule if it comes out whole. If it comes out as a whole number, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we'd be looking at the 10th data value. Um, but if it does come out whole, or we're gonna, we we got to score a 10. But if it comes out whole, we need to um, use the 6th and the 7th and find the average of the two. So our score would correspond to uh, our score would correspond to that 10 plus 12 divided by 2, or the one halfway between them, between the 6th and the 7th. And that's only if the value, the, your percentile uh, rank ends up giving you an exact value. You find the the sixth and the seventh one, if you know if it was the eighth, you go to the eighth and ninth one, add them up and divide by two. And so an eleven on our an eleven on our score uh, on our tests test, eleven out of twenty, um, would be the sixtieth percentile. So you scored better than sixty percent. And that goes back to that definition. Um, this whole below that measure so we're you know we were when we counted to the sixth one um, we weren't we were finding everything below that measure not the ones that were at that measure so we had to go back up up to the ones that were also at that measure kind of confusing I didn't do a great job of explaining that but but hopefully you get the picture of how to do it and again just double check in the book if you're not sure uh, the book does a great job of explaining it. Um, you know, we're working on page 137 for this example. So if you want to take a look at that on page 137, please feel free to do so. All right, that's my spiel for percentile rank. So good luck. Hope this helps, and see you next time.